Shwari mtazamaji ya Sante kwa kuifanya West TV kwa runinga yako siku zote. Tutasema tazama ilivyo. Tazamaji wako wa thamani kubwa kwetu sie na tutasema shukran Asante sana kuweza kutazama. Bila shaka hapa tunazungumza masuala kadhaa mawili matatu ilivyo desturi kila Wednesday tunajadili masuala ya kijamii kama sio masuala ya kijamii. Nikisema masuala ya kijamii na maanisha masuala ya uhalifu, na maanisha masuala ya msongo wa mawazo, masuala ya depression, tunazungumzia masuala ambayo yanahusu dawa za kulevia, masuala ya kijamii kijumla. Kuweza kujadiliana kuhusiana na hili na lile. Kuna wakati nimekuwa naye bibi Ruth Awino for example, ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa Women Caucus katika kaunti ya Bungoma tukijadili masuala ya teen pregnancies na kadhalika. Ni masuala ambayo tunayatengia kila siku ya Jumatano. Lakini katika hali ya kutofautisha na Tuesday Tuesday Eric Lumbasi anaangazia masuala ya vijana, wanawake, jinsia. Kwa hivyo pana tofauti uh, japo uh, 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 finyo kidogo kati ya Wednesday and Tuesday. Lakini tofauti zaidi ya Wednesday ni kwamba kando na kuangazia masuala haya ya kijamii, nikapata fursa ya kumleta mtu ambaye ameweza kupitia maishani haya na yale akaweza kufaulu maishani. Bila shaka namleta hapa tunazungumza naye kirahisi tu uh, uh, tukicheka tukifurahi lakini mwisho siku najua kuna mtu ambaye anatiwa motisha pale nyumbani kuna mtu ambaye anapata uh, bila shaka motivation ya aina yake kabisa na hasa zaidi kama ni mwanafunzi for example unataka kuweza kusomea taaluma fulani uh, siku zote I always tell you you might think you're facing the hardest of lives until you meet someone who has faced harder Uh, situations in life na bila shaka ndio napiga tabasamu na songa mbele zaidi ukimwona Dalmas Sakali akitabasamu anavyotabasamu siku zote there is always the story behind na uh, ni naye daktari Makilet Sikuku daktari Makilet Sikuku na, na usika zaidi na masuala ya dawa dawa hivi masuala ya pharmacy she is a pharmacist na kando na hilo she is a mentor a role model ambaye uh, bila shaka analea uh, uh, vipaji analea wanafunzi uh, na hasa zaidi mtoto msichana bila shaka najua tutakuwa nazungumzia hayo pale baadaye lakini zaidi ningetamani tumfahamu tumjue safari yake vipi changamoto zipi amekumbana nazo mbona kamulia masuala ya pharmacy by the way ni swala ambalo vile vile atakuwa analijibu kule mbele Karibu sana daktari uh, Sikuku hata kama pana COVID-19 uh, <laughs> tumenawa. Inabidi uh, tusalimiane bila shaka. Mm. Uh, lakini labda tuanze na hili swala la COVID-19. Kwa juu juu tu. So far unahisi kwamba we doing enough as a country? Uh, tunajaribu ingawa hatuna uh, the facilities. Mm -hmm. But so far naona serikali inajaribu ku contain the virus mm -hmm. uh, kusamba. Mm -hmm venye iko lakini what i can say is we need to do more mm -hmm. kwa sababu um, this virus kama inaweza affect the developed countries mm -hmm. zile nchi zimeendelea zaidi mm -hmm. watu kuna maafa mingi kule mm -hmm. na bado sasa unajua sisi wa Afrika hatuna vile the instruments the facilities mm -hmm. ya ku contain all these virus mm -hmm. so we need to be very careful tunahitaji mm -hmm. kutia makini sana Uh, na ku take care mm -hmm. maagizo tuyatie si tumeambiwa maagizo yote venye mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. we need to do no. so lazima la, we need to be very careful mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yenye ambao mko katika uwanja wa afya moja kwa moja mm -hmm. do you at times get worried because sana, uh, sana. Like i remember in china mm -hmm. yule mtu wa kwanza kabisa kupiga mm -hmm. nduru kwamba mm -hmm. hey, kuna ugonjwa hapa Mm. He died later yeah. on. Yeah. Na tumeona madaktari wa hudumu mm. vile vile wakifariki kutokana na kwamba maybe they hawana vifaa muhimu. Mm -hmm. Do your times get worried? We get very worried. Lakini sasa hivi katika hospitali hii yetu kuu hapa. No. Uh, ninaona wamejaribu sana kuleta vifaa. Mm -hmm. Tuko na gloves, tuko na masks. Mm -hmm. So sasa hivi hata tukihudumia wale wagonjwa hata sisi tunajiprotect. Mm -hmm. Lakini si ati vinatosha kwa sababu vifaa hivyo vinatumika tu siku moja peke yake. Mm -hmm. So lazima tukue nazo for like about six months. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So naomba tu maybe usaidizi pia kutoka kwa serikali ya juu. Mm -hmm. Iendelee kutupea the more more facilities mm -hmm. na pia ndio si pia tujikinge. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu unajua wengine wametoka kazi, wamewa maybe waache kazi wa wapumzike nyumbani sisi hatuwezi pumzika nyumbani mm -hmm. si lazima tuendelee ku kuugua wagonjwa mm -hmm. kwa sababu ni wapi ndio mtu akiwa mgonjwa anakuja wapi hospitali mm -hmm. mm -hmm. na hakuna venye kutakosa mtu kwa hospitali mm -hmm. lazima tuende kila siku mm -hmm. so lazima pia sisi tujit 
tahadhari. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Najua kule kwenu pana itifaki, pana protocol ya nani anafaa kuzungumzia mm -hmm. yepi kwa hivyo sitakufinya mm -hmm. sana huko huko mm -hmm. kwa la corona. Mm -hmm. Daktari Immaculate sikuku ni nani? Ah, uh, mimi najifahamu kama kwanza mimi ni humanitarian. Mimi na nahusika na mambo ya kijamii yani. Secondly, I'm a pharmacist. Napenda sana mimi ni mwana pharmacia. Mm -hmm. Napenda sana kazi yangu. Napenda sana madawa na fahamu mengi kuhusu madawa. Mm -hmm. Lakini si ya kulevia. Ah, si ya kulevia. <laughs> Ingawa <laughs> bado pia ni madawa. Madawa pia dawa. And then uh, finally, but not least, mimi ni mentor. Mimi na inspire watu na ongelesha wanafunzi, my peers, ata watu wakubwa, eh, mina wangelesha na wa motivate in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you balance the three? Because uh, si rahisi. Uh, si rahisi, as you si say. Si mm -hmm. Lakini ni kujitolea tu. Kujitolea na kumake sure you know what you, you want to do, you know what you have to do in this life. Mm -hmm. Mimi ni mtu mwenye time. Nikisema nitakuwa hivi at this time, lazima ni kwa hivyo. Mm -hmm. Na ndiyo kwa maana lazima I, I fulfill most of my, my obligations. Mm -hmm. no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, you're looking good. I forgot <laughs> to tell you that. Uh, Santi sana. Umezali wa wapi? Let's, let's begin ukiwa mtoto. Umezali mm -hmm. wa wapi? Labda tuanzi upali. Uh, kusema kweli, mini mkazi wa bungoma. Lakini mimi nime, nime, nilizaliwa kwanza teso. Mamangu alikuwa anafunza kule. Sami nikazaliwa teso, nikaishi kwa muda. Ndiyo tuka songa huku bungoma. Lakini kwa nyanya na penye tumekua tukiishi pia ni huko bumula. Sami pia ni mkazi wa bumula. Mm. Uh, kwa hivyo oe ni mteso? Ah, misi mteso, mimi mbukusu. But umekuwa kiishi. Eh, but nimeishi kule, nimeishi kule kwa muda mm -hmm. and then pia sasa ndio nikaishi Bungoma. Mm -hmm. Lakini Bungoma ndio nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Bungoma ndio nyumbani. Uh, so umezaliwa uh, masuala elimu labda? Elimu nilisomea shule inaitwa Chilele Muk. Iko kule Teso. Mm -hmm. Karibu ni kama tulikuwa Uganda. Mm -hmm. Changamoto zote za public school zote nimezipitia. Mm -hmm. Bada ya hapo, nikatoka kule, nikaenda hapa, venye tulisonga sabungoma, nikaenda hapa tumarela hapa. Mm -hmm. Then kutoka pale ndio nikaenda Moe Girls Eldoret. So, nimetembea, mm -hmm. nikaenda Moe Girls Eldoret. Then bada ya hapo, ndio nikaenda University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sa so, ndio nikasome utalume ya wanafamasia. Wana mm -hmm. Ndiyo sasa nikamaliza na nikasema nataka kurudi nyumbani, kufanya kazi nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Because I love my home. Mm -hmm. Karudi sasa nafanya apa kwa district. How was it growing up? Will you say it was uh, a challenging, uh, challengeful mm -hmm. journey? Will you say it was a moderate uh, journey? Will it you was, say it was uh, a better I process? I can say both, but it was a little challenging. Kwa mana tulikuwa kule teso, North Teso. Hakuna maji, hakuna the basic items, mm -hmm. but we are here. Tulijikaza tukakuwa hapa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, watu wateso nao na maji. <laughs> <laughs> maji uwa shida uko. I hope uh, wanafanya something about it. Uh -huh. mm. um, how would you describe your family? Uh, Unaezo kasema ilikuwa, uh, ilikuwa aji? Uh, family yangu ilija upendo sana. Na na shukuru. We still have that unity. Always. Mm -hmm. Si ati familia tu peke yake mpaka extended family pia. Mm -hmm. Kama si hao singe kuwa hapa penye niko. Mm -hmm. Na na shukuru sana. Mm -hmm. mm. How, how, how big was the family? I mean, are you the only... No. Uh, Niko na ndugu mdogo, lakini tulishi wengi katika iyo family yetu. Mm -hmm. So si kuwai dani tuko watoto wawili ama wangapi. Mm. Mm -hmm. So tulishi watu wengi. Tulishi le um, communal. Mm -hmm. eh, tulishi watu wengi. Mm -hmm. growing up. Uh, lakini inonekana you're bright. Eh, na nadhani nadhani the fact kwamba <laughs> uli umesema ni safari yako ya elimu and mm. i'm just thinking uh, lazima you are bright inabidi i think uh, kila mtu ni bright nikutia tu bidi mimi okay. huamini hivyo kila mtu ni bright kila mtu ni bright <laughs> <laughs> nikutia tu bidi uh -huh. mm. uh, lakini uh, dr sikuku mm. You are doct a doctor by title or you are a doctor to hear what you could be clear to you? I'm a doctor by title. By, by title. Kusoma. Kwa hivu umesomea mm. mpaka ukafikia kiwango hiki cha uh, kufikia kiwango hicho. Mm. Uh, what has been pushing you? 
the need to change, to make the society a better place. Kwanza sahi, venye, kama hiyo tutasema badaye, I'm fighting teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So every day lazima ni ongeleshe wanafunzi, because mostly ni teenagers, mm -hmm. ndi wana affected. Mm -hmm. So every day they need to change, a, to fight and make a, the world a better place. Mm -hmm. Hiyo ndio huniamusha kila siku. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Umuwai kumbana na mbona unakabiliana na, na teenage pregnancy. Will you say it's from experience? Labda uli kumbana na alo and it's something ambayo ili kuumiza. Ama it's just something uli katu chini and you just thought, so what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? And then ukamua wacha ni deal na teenage pregnancy. <laughs> Sali zuri sana. Kwanza, okay, siku experience hiyo, but unajua when situation kama hiyo ina hit close to home. Mm -hmm. Because siyezi sema jina laki ama ni nani, but mm -hmm. yani a family friend. Alipata, ame pata mtoto, ata ni tena ibi majuzi. Na tena kuna wakitambo, ame pata mtoto at 15 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Na hiyo ni straight teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Sasa unajuliza, ningefanya nini kul Ninge, ninge muongelesha, ni change situation, angeongeleshwa, mm -hmm. ama ni lack of sex education, unona. Mm -hmm. Sasa, unasema, eh, hey, kwa void something like this kufanyika tena, ni vizuri lai like, kuongelesha wasichana zaidi. Mm -hmm. Maybe wasichana wetu hawako exposed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waneza kuwa wako naive, hawajiele vizuri. Sasa, ni vizuri lai like, mtu kujitokeza mm -hmm. kuongelesha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, kuna changamoto ambazo unezo kasemu likumbana nazo when you're growing up uh, Growing up ambazo they are specific to your gender Would you say kwamba kuna changamoto ambazo uh, you are meeting them uh, That were not uniform kwamba labda wakiume wakumbani nazo But they are specific to you being uh, the female gender Naam um, About mortality Ile wa mama kufa na kupata wa yani waku, watoto kufariki at birth mm -hmm. Iyo nilikumbana nayo na ikasema I need to also fight this mm -hmm. to improve healthcare. Maybe likuwa lack of proper medication news, sita sema ni nani, mm -hmm. but ile kupoteza mtoto na uliko unongoja uyu mtoto, mm -hmm. na muongoja sana. Mm -hmm. And then mkapoteza uyu mtoto, unasema na uyu alikuwa na condition. Mm -hmm. Na ni mismanagement of medicines. Mm -hmm. Kasema, lazima niende ni somei wana pharmacia. Mm -hmm. Nijue how to use these medications. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na kuja pale kuweza kujua ni nini kili kusukuma katika masole ya uh, pharmacy. What pushed you? Uh, mean there's kuna careers nyingi, kuna mm -hmm. vitu vingi mtu anaweza kafanya. Uh, wewe hata ukapewa news, you can still read news, you can still uh, do so many other things. Mm -hmm. Mbona ukaamulia masuala haya? I know you've mentioned one, but what were the reasons ambazo lukusukuma kuweza kuamua kusomea masuala haya? Kwanza labda ni seme tu pharmacy ina entail nini. Unajua wengine wanadhani maybe pharmacy ni kupeana tu dawa, kuchukua prescription. Pharmacy mm -hmm. it's a very wide area. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy pia ikona research. Mm -hmm. Research into drugs, ku invent new drugs. Mm -hmm. Na kusema ukweli kuna ma, ma, a lot of diseases. Kuna magonjwa mengi ambayo hayana tiba. Mm -hmm. Na nikasema, wacha mi pia ningie, ni, yes ni mesomea hivi, lakini ni kiendeleza, ningie into research. Juu, ukiendelea into research, unendelea pia kutafuta dawa. Mm -hmm. So, pia eventually nataka kuingia into research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo nini kilikusukuma? Ni kutokana kwa magonjwa yapo, haya na dawa. Is, was it first your first uh, yes, career? Yes, uh, I mean, mm. wakati you were growing up, was it the real thing you wanted to do? Amu I wanted badai? to do, yes, I wanted to do pharmacy. Why? Because I wanted to find new drugs to the existing diseases. Kuna magonjwa mengi sana haya na tiba. Mm -hmm. Na si tu haya na tiba, kuna magonjwa ya na tiba, but uh, unapata wananchi hawezi get access to the drugs. Mm -hmm. So how do you make them affordable? By inventing new drugs. Mm -hmm. Nam. Tueleze safari ya um, kusomea masters. Baada ya kumaliza, I mean, the, the first degree. Nini kiliku motivate? Ah, bando sija endelea kule. Mm -hmm. Mi nimemaliza tu. Pharmacist andio kumana naitua doctor. Mm -hmm. Nam. Mm -hmm. But natika kuingia into research na pia public health. Mm -hmm. Public health ya ni um, afya ya wananchi. 
Naam. Mm -hmm. Because mimi ni mtu na naamini mimi ni mtu wa mwana, wa wananchi. Mm -hmm. So ningependa kuingia katika afya ya wananchi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Take us into your mentorship world. I mean um, when did you start mentoring others? Mentorship nilianza nikikuwa campus. Tulikuwa na program tunaenda katika mashule tunaongelesha wanafunzi, tuna uh, inspire, tunasema hata si tulikuwa hapo. So you have no limits to where you can be. Mm -hmm. Naam. Mm -hmm. Because that was primarily what we used to do. So sahi now that tumemaliza campus, tunajaribu ku get together with other fellow professionals tuone kama tunaweza ongelesha pia youths. Si tu wanafunzi wa shule. Mm -hmm. Naam. Uh, nani ndio wafadhili? I mean who finances uh, all that? Kusema kweli ni kujitolea tu kwa sasa. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ni kujitolea tu kwa sasa kama kuna wale wanataka kutusaidia. Unajua hii ni kitu when you get in, into humanitarian actions mostly unaanza kama kujitolea mwenyewe. Mm -hmm. How you expect msaada? Mm -hmm. Eventually uh, tuna hope kukuwa na of, uh, na support ya Office of the Women Rep, na Office of the First Lady Pia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, ni, ni, ni kitu mbacho unezo kasema ki meza matunda uh, all these years, the mentorship programs you've been running. Uh, will you look back and say, wow? Sana. Kwa maana, unapata kuna, kama niko kwa program ingine ya kwa lewa masai, inaitua ka Kenya Center of Excellence. So, I'm a mentor there. Na unapata like a uh, the unapewa men, menti wanaitwa menti mm -hmm. unamshughulikia huyu mwanadada kwa for the rest of her life unamuongelesha unamtumia emails unamuongelesha yani you inspire her and sure enough unaona improvements in her life mm -hmm. na si yeye peke yake pale penye tulikuwa tunamfanya mentorship kwa high schools unapata mtu anakupigia amepita yeye pia ame join university na baada anataka kuendelea with that Umuendele kumsaidia, umuendele kumumenta. Mm -hmm. Which is always very inspired mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. Why the girl child? Um, kusema kweli, though girl child, boy child pia mekua neglected. But unaona girl child amekua, hana a lot of opportunities. But si, nasema pia, kwa hii mentorship, ilikuwa inaitua B and G, ni boy and girl, both of them. Ingawa najua tumeegezea kule kwa mm -hmm. girl sana. Mm -hmm because to mezoea ku inspire girls but pia tunajaribu kuona kama boys can also be inspired yani ku pia wana, vijana pia wapate the basic items alafu pia waongeleshwe kwa sa, kwa maana huwezi inspire msichana akuje juu na kijana unamwacha chini you need to inspire the boy ndio wapatane mali pamoja mm -hmm. na mm -hmm. mtazamaji bila shaka ni naye Makilet Sikuku daktari tukienda zungumza naye kuhusiana basi na masuala mbalimbali uh, na usika zaidi na masuala uh, ya uh, pharmacia bila shaka uh, pharmacists uh, she is akihusika uh, zaidi na masuala ya dawa utafiti wa masuala ya dawa na kadhalika bila shaka tukiona tunazungumza naye kuhusiana na ye mwenyewe nani safari yake vipi uh, na najua vile vile tutakuwa tunaingia zaidi kuweza kujua mengi zaidi kuhusiana na yafanya zungumzia mipango mizima ya mentorship ambayo anayefanya amezungumzia uh, of course vile vile uh, masuala ya ulezi kijumla ambayo anayefanya kuweza kuwalea wale wengine ambao uh, bila shaka wapo kule nyuma kuweza kusonga mbele zaidi na kumekuwa na hii notion ambayo watu wengi wanasema kwamba I remember the kiwa mdog. I used to tell people, I'll be a journalist, and people were like, Kitu mtu wana semanga kuwangi. I was like, you guys are very serious. <laughs> so it happens. Uh, Litaka kuwa pharmacist, mm -hmm. she is a pharmacist. I wanted to be a journalist, I am a journalist. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo inawezekana nawe pia, ile ndoto mbo nitaka kuweza kuifanya inawezekana. By then, kule jeshe nyuma kideogo. When you, uh, wakatu litaka kufanya mambo ya pharmacy, was there any kind of resistance from anywhere, from any quarters? I'm on Ezo Kasema Kombe, it was just a smooth ride. I want to do pharmacy and your parents were like, wow. Your friends were like, wow. Your family was like, that, that's fine. Mm. I mean, uli kumbana na any wrestling kilogo? Kisema kweli, ukisema unataa kuwa pharmacist, watu wengi huwa hawaelewi ni nini. Hawaelewi mbona umepita, umepata, uh, eh, kila kitu. Mbona usiende tu ufanyi medicine. Nona. But I thank God kwa sababu wazazi wangu wali ni support sana. Wakasema, ah, iyo, di unataka kufanya ni sawa. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Na, mm -hmm. I got a lot of support from them. Na nashukuru sana. Mm -hmm. mm. Being a girl is a challenge. Do you agree or do you it's disagree? It's always a challenge. Why? It's or how? It's always a challenge. Because um, 
apart from being expected najua sahi kuna mambo za feminism za toxic feminism but unajua kuna we are given the same opportunities tunapewa yani the same opportunities but um, tutatoka hapa kama saa hii tukitoka hapa tuseme ingekuwa jioni nitatoka hapa wewe utaenda kukutana tuseme na marafiki ukiongea business with them me as a lady nita expect kwenda nyumbani nianze kutayarisha marafiki mnaongea nao kwa simu maybe so there is different situations it's never equal it has never been equal mm. na ndio kwa maana si ati tunasema wanawake wa, wasi pia watoke kazini na waende wa, kwa klabu ama waende wapi but yani nasema ni vizuri it's high time we start understanding the girl child too mm. 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 But, uh, lakini kuna wale ambao wanaishi kwamba uh, juhudi ambazo zimekuwa zikiwekwa sasa hivi zimesawazisha uwanja do you agree or do you disagree bado there is a there is a long way to go bado bado kabisa I mean, what but uh, what, I I mean, can say, yes. uh, what i can say what i can say the opportunities zenye tumepewa zimeharahisisha kuishi kwa mwanamke na tunashukuru sana mm-hmm. but sasa si kuishi kwa mwanamke alafu inaishia hapo we need to do more mm-hmm. na pia as we do more tunaweka pia boy child katika hiyo to do more mm-hmm ndio aelewe huyu the inspired girl mm-hmm. na mm-hmm. um wajua nimekuuliza hivyo kwa sababu saa hizi ukiangalia matokeo ya mitihani ya kitaifa na. i mean wasichana wanafanya hata bora zaidi kuliko wavulana mm. i remember in some quarter ambayo sitasema hapa we were just talking as men and we were like <laughs> men uh, maybe we also need to do something uh, kwa hivyo nashangaa ukisema kwamba bado na hizi uwanja hujasawazishwa bado mm. bado mm. uwa naamini kwa there is always something that can be done Hakuna venye tutasema sasa tumefika sasa tuko sawa sasa hakuna kujiendeleza tena I believe there is always more that can be done. Mm-hmm. Naam. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does your mentorship program entail? Is it an, an umezungumzia mpango ule ambao unafanyika mm-hmm. uh, masaini kule anajua uh, you doing a few things here and there mm-hmm. is it more of personal or is it more of group uh, Um inakuwa personal for a while but sasa ikakuja kukuwa group so sasa hii tumekuwa basing, basically on a mentorship of uh, eliminating teenage pregnancy through mentorship but sasa tunataka pia kuingia into youth advocacy mm-hmm. into kusaidia youths pia wapate self employment mm-hmm. opportunities but sasa kwa sasa hatujaingia katika hiyo mpango mm-hmm. mm. Nini kina wasukuma wasichana kuingia katika masuala haya ya teenage pregnancy na that ube lizungumzia? Kuna ma, kuna masuala mengi sana. Nikiguzia tu labda ni kusema venye nilisema naivety. Uh, lack of sex education. Uh-huh. Naam. Uh, unapata wasichana wengi hawajui uh, hawa ama hawakuambiwa zaidi kuhusu their sexuality and such things. Uh-huh. Alafu unapata pia um, mostly these ladies lack of edu- nimesema lack of education mm. but sasa pia kuna hii kudanganywa na vijana wale wa, seme vijana tu kuna wasichana wanadanganywa tu and i think that's basically part of lack of education mm-hmm. kuna lack of sex education na lack of proper education mm-hmm. katika kazi yako hii ya uh, uh, ufamasia Are there uh, I mean uh, is it is ni kazi ambayo unaweza kusema wakati mwingine ukiketi pale unaona situations that make you like I think there is still a lot to be done in terms of mentorship uh, na juu masuala ya teenage pregnancy mm-hmm. masuala ya uh, wasichana kuja pale hawana mlezi hawana mtu wa kushughulikia mm-hmm. na kadhalika will you say kwamba ina, inakupatia clear picture ukiketi pale ukifanya mambo yako mm-hmm. uh, ambayo inakupatia sura uh, kamili na labda inakufanya uh, utafakarie kwamba there is still a lot to be done Naam. Unajua katika kazi yangu ya wanafamasia one of the things we do is uh, dispensing kupea dawa kwa wagonjwa. Na unapata like uh, msichana mdogo pia amekuja na anataka kwanza anakuja kukuwaongelesha we kwanza akiona we ni m- wananiona mimi ni mdogo ama sijui ni nini. Wanakuja wananianza kuniongelesha ananiambia shida zao ama unapata maybe ya pregnant unaona sasa nashinda utasaidia mtoto aje na you are not the parent 
na anasema tunamwambia maybe tunataka kuambia mzazi wako tunatupe namba ya mzazi maybe tumuongeleshe yeye hataki so uneko katika situation yenye you cannot do anything about it mm -hmm. na that situation is always disheartening very disheartening mm -hmm. so unashindwa there's definitely something that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. mm. Is there um, one inc inc incident, some incident, somebody who has it really, it really pushed you, and you were like, uh, in your mentorship programs, in can you say, kulikuwa na one case, yeah, positive change, ambayo you were able to walk with the labda msichana, ama mti yote, kutoka kwa hatu wa moja, adi ya tuwe nyingine, kukawa na total change, kukawa na mbabadiliko, can it be academic, can it be kijami, will you uh, cite uh, one, one instance? Yes, katika hii mentorship yangu, nilikuwa na certain lady, um, alikuwa, bado tukulia katika umasaini, lakini, yeye alikuwa meamini sana katika FGM. Umuongeleshe ata useme nini, ameajiamini kabisa. But ikafika time, kwa muongeleshe, then you inspire her, you talk to her. Na anamini, eventually, this lady, sahia kwa shule, anaendelea to vizuri, in fact, she's performing very well. Mm -hmm. Mambo za FGM hata kiata kusikia. And it's always inspiring. It's always a good thing kusikia kitu kama icho. Mm -hmm. Now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um... Are there situations anyone ever wanted to take advantage of you because of your gender? Siyezi kata, ni ukweli. Can you share? I mean, is it something you can talk about? Katika hii kazi yangu, nimesema mi pia ni youth leader. So, unapata maybe, venye nilisema maybe funding, ama you need a platform. Sita sema ni nani, lakini maybe you approach them, maybe you need to talk to them about something, you need their support na mtu ananza tu kuongea mambo yake. Mm. Mm. And the good thing with me I'm always very stern and I stand by my word. If it cannot happen I'll find my own way. Mm. Mm. So unapata maybe anataka ku take advantage of you. Mm. But I have always Sexually that is. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. But I have always taken my stand na ndio kwa maana unapata vitu zingine ni sisi tunajifanyia tu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that's something we also need to be talking about as a yes. society? Yes. I think uh, such people need to be, I don't know, they need to be, to have more respect. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I was really worried. <laughs> uh, that sentence, wakati mingi ni meskei kiisha na kastrated and I was like, eh? Na mwa bile shaka mtazamaji, isi ya zako bile bile na zikaribisha. Kama kawaida, bile shaka 0-7-0-5-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-0-8-
we can take a good seat mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mtazamaji utanruhusu tuelekee mapumzikoni kwa dakika kama tatu. Tukishatoka mapumzikoni atakuwa ananieleza sasa hivi anaazimia nini uh, maishani ama katika masuala hayo yake basi ya kuweza kulea uh, wasichana na labda wanawake kijumla anaazimia lipi maishani na vile vile kanuna hilo atakuwa anatoa uhusia bila shaka kwa kwa ambao mtazama tutakuwa namuuliza maswali mawili matatu kuhusiana na masuala kadhaa uh, different scenario. Sasa hivi tunapozungumza by the way kuna msichana sasa hivi ana ujauzito and he she's watching na amekwama ameshindwa tanzia wapi mm. the parents ni wakali kuli kweli anashindwa atapeleka wapi uh, mm. hayo masuala na kadhalika ameambia yule ambaye aliwajibika amemwambia why are you pregnant <laughs> wanasikia maswali katika filamu za Nigeria mm. uh, kwa hivyo tutakuwa tunazungumzia hayo bila shaka endelea kutazama West TV staff tai sehemu ya gumzo la siku ni naye Markelet Sikuku Kelvin Kibet chukua usukani TV tazama ilivyo Asante mtazamaji kwa kuendelea kwa nasi bila shaka West TV staff tie ni kipindi chako cha kila siku saa moja hadi saa tatu masuala mbalimbali wageni wa haiba tofauti kuzungumzia bila shaka mada tofauti tofauti kila siku Jumatatu hadi Ijumaa akiwajibika mwenzangu Eric Lumbasi Monday Tuesday akiwajibika Tuesday Thursday and Friday bila shaka mimi nikiwajibika Monday and Wednesday kumbuka every Monday tunapiga story ya siasa bila shaka wageni ni masuala ya siasa wageni wa, wa kisiasa tukizungumzia siasa kijumla lakini kila Wednesday inspirational Wednesday pale ulipo wakati mwingine unaweza dhani umefika ukutani hadi ukutani na mtu ambaye alipita katika ukuta huo huo fika pale pale akapita katikati ya ule ukuta na wewe umekwama pale pale uh, it's until you meet uh, such people bila shaka ndipo utaweza uh, kuamini ni nini kimekuwa kinakumotivate all through na ni, ni what, which factors would you say ama uh, ni vitu gani ambavyo unaweza ukasema kwamba uh, every time you feel like giving up or any time you feel like things are getting harder kimekuwa kinakupatia the push kimekuwa kinakumotivate tangu uh, siku hizo kwa shule za upili hadi sasa sema kweli to be consistent ni ngumu sana mm -hmm. inahitaji wewe mwenyewe ujisukume na kabla wewe mwenyewe kujisukuma you also need supportive people mm -hmm. but nasema pia kila siku mimi huje nilikuwa najiambia nilikuwa najiandikia goals mm -hmm. what i want to do mm -hmm chenye nahitaji what i need to achieve by this time. Mm -hmm. So kila siku ukiamka ukizifikiria ama ukiziangalia kwanza nilikuwa naeka katika ukuta mm -hmm. nimeweka zile goals zangu kila kitu chenye nataka kuwa hivyo. Mm -hmm. Sasa nikiamka hivi nikiangalia na nasema immaculate mm -hmm. amka tafadhali. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that has always that hiyo ndio imekuwa ni motivate na kunisukuma katika maisha. Mm -hmm. Ni wapi tunaangukia uh, kama vijana? Uh, wakati mwingi vijana wanakumbana changamoto nyingi nafasi za ajili amna siku hizi mm. tunapozungumza wengi wanafuzu ndio kutoka katika vyo vikuu kumekuwa mpaka na mjadala wa half backed uh, wale ambao wanatoka katika vyo vikuu na kadhalika uh, changamoto za maisha kijumla wengine mpaka wanajitia kitanzi mm. uh, vijana wako so depressed ukikwenda hapa Sharif Central pata mwingine saizi ya shalala pale ameinua miguu juu uh, maisha yamekuwa magumu kweli kweli mm. where do we fail Uh, as a nation na jua like uh, youths mtu akimaliza shule huwa anataka kazi direct na najua si rahisi most of our youths wako inspired kuingia into vitu kama self employment na najua pia self employment si rahisi mm -hmm. naam so kama serikali venye nilikuwa naona youth funds kama inaweza provide such funds for the youths wengia katika ubinafsi wa biashara mm -hmm. i think that can make a change mm -hmm. naam mm -hmm. uh, wewe sasa kama mentor at times have you faced the challenge kwa ba mentoring others and somehow wewe pia ukifika ukutani you not having someone to mentor you or you'll say they have always been uh, watu ambao wamekushikilia and kusema kweli kila mtu who who fail na i am not siezi danganya mimi pia nimeanguka nimeanguka several times na every time ukianguka unafikiria kuna watu pia wanaku depend on you So you cannot allow yourself to be down. Ingawa chenye nasema sahihi ni pia ukianguka lia tafadhali. 
lia, be angry, fanya kila kitu after all we ni mwanadamu. Mm -hmm. But baada ya hapo yote ujue ukiendelea kulia nothing is going to change. Sasa ni up to you pia kusimama na kujiendeleza. Mm -hmm. Na several times nimejisimamisha na kujiendeleza pia. Mm -hmm. Na. Mm -hmm. Do you have a role model? If yes, yes. Nani? nani ambayo unaweza kusema kwamba katika inaweza kawa katika jamii hii, inaweza mm -hmm. kawa kimataifa, ni nani ambayo unaweza kusema kwamba uh, motivates you? Labda yupo ama hayupo lakini unaweza kusema kwamba hadithi zake that is if hayupo mm -hmm. uh, zinakupatia motisha. Kusema kweli niko na mentor in every area. Na kila mtu nitakana kuwa na mentor in every area. So nikisema mentor ina nianze na locally. Nikisema mentor locally ni Mama anaitwa Rebecca Masibai na una, u, wamjua kwa mfahamu. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ye hufanya a lot of uh, mentorship pia girls advocacy na she's very I love her she's very strong. Mm -hmm. Pia naona pia mentors pia locally pia naona hata women rep wetu pia anajaribu sana. Na hiyo inua mama mashinani. Pia first lady health wise she's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. I love that lady. Mm -hmm. Sana nikisema nenda maybe katika biashara biashara kuna wengi kuna wengi sana mm -hmm. kwanza naweza sema biashara kuna a lot of uh, ladies both ladies and gents so kuna Warren Buffett alafu pia kuna Anelisa au wote nawaangalia katika ethics zao katika biashara wako wanajisimamia sana mm -hmm. and then katika maisha naweza sema wazazi wangu wamejitoa mbali sana mm. wamejitoa na bado wanajiendeleza and mm. that always motivates me mm huwa -hmm. nasema mimi pia nataka kufika hiyo kiwango kujiendeleza pia mm -hmm. uh, mungu yupo popote katika safari hii na maybe mungu, mm -hmm. the god is always there na lazima kila ninachofanya lazima niombe mimi ni mkatoliki mimi ushiriki katika kanisa la Christ the King mm -hmm. so lazima me i believe in god lazima niombe lazima ni shukuru Mungu kwa mazuri lazima niombe and i give a lot mm -hmm. i give to charity i donate and uh, i think na miningi like um, giving back to society is one way of uh, thanking the universe for your existence mm -hmm. so i'm always giving unafanya biashara gani umezungumzia biashara uh, <laughs> i didn't know that ndio nimejua <laughs> sasa hivi unafanya biashara gani ah uh, kwa sasa nafanya tu online yeah sijaweka biashara yangu ya wanafamasia but for now unafanya tu online projects naam mm -hmm. na ndio nilikuwa mm -hmm. nasema mm -hmm. youth si lazima uongoje tu ufanye physical biashara ama nini mm -hmm. kuna biashara mingi sana hata unaweza fanya online writing unaweza fanya mm -hmm. academic zote ziko mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, sijui online writing eh, online hii <laughs> hapo ni gani na ni ya msimama mbele ya gari ah. sema kwamba <laughs> you want to earn 25000 no. a week type how at uh, type how i show you how uh, to see do it. Uh, uh, labda tuzungumze na uh, mtazamaji ambaye amekuwa kitazama na anahisi kwamba things are not working tuanze na kijumla kwamba things are not working nikana kwamba maisha ni magumu amefikia uh, ukutani what will you tell them things will always change nothing is constant in this world mm -hmm. So me chenye nakwambia keep pushing on keep pushing on na ukiona maybe you are pushing on na umeendelea sana and nothing is changing i advise you to change and look at another like another alternative mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. uh, uh, labda mtazamaji nikukumbushe kwamba anaitwa Immaculate Sikuku Immaculate Sikuku ni daktari au sika uh, na masuala ya pharmacy uh, a pharmacist masuala ya dawa dawa utafiti wa dawa na kadhalika bila shaka tumezungumzia uh, na tunaendelea kuzungumzia labda safari yake imekuwa vipi wakati tunaelekea kuweza kuhitimisha amekulia uh, wapi amekumbana changamoto zipi safari imekuwa vipi changamoto zipi na kadhalika uh, bila shaka natumai pale ulipo vile vile unapata motisha kuweza kusonga mbele zaidi unapata uh, hamu na uh, bila shaka imani kwamba yawezekana ukasonga mbele na bila shaka mambo yakaweza uh, kuwezekana labda tuzungumze na mwanamke ambaye ana 
swala hili la teenage pregnancy mm. mtazamaji ambaye labda ana ujauzito na ni mtoto mdogo uh, anapitia such a, a situation what do you think are the necessary step to take aweze kufanya nini uh, aamue vipi najua kuna kuwa na wakati mwingi dilemma wengine wafikiria mm. mpaka uh, mm. kwa afya uh, na kadhalika labda zungumzia hilo um, first of all ukijipata katika hiyo uh, hali usiave mimba mm -hmm usiave because a lot of complications zinazofanyika mm -hmm. so najua ni ngumu sana kuambia mzazi but kumbuka bado ni mzazi wako mm -hmm. tafadhali muambie muambie alafu ukiona maybe anakuwa mgumu atakuwa mgumu atakuwa atakasirika but eventually atakuelewa mm -hmm. na baada ya hapo okay asipokuelewa unaenda kwa chief kuna venye ataku guide maybe akupeleke mahali ukae kwa muda ukisha pata huyo mtoto you can go back to school mm -hmm. and then i love the way system in a change sasa hii ukipata mtoto bado unarudi shule mm -hmm. naam mm -hmm. and it's a good thing mm -hmm. utarudi shule ujikaze utie bd and especially ukikumbuka una work hard for your child mm -hmm. i'm so sure you'll be motivated to perform better mm -hmm. naam uh, do you believe katika kuanguka mara kadhaa i've seen no. cases where msichana um, um, mpata ujauzito at 15 mm -hmm. amweza kuzungumziwa ikawa kwamba ame change later mm -hmm. on i don't know is it um, I'm, i'm careful not to call it carelessness mm -hmm. at 18 years akapata ujauzito mwingine later on maybe 19 or there about 20 akapata tena mtoto wa tatu do you really believe kwamba pana kuanguka na kuanguka na kuanguka tena am you think somehow it's something I, once you need to learn once i think something like that something can be done kama mtoto mdogo kama huyo mimi na what I can advocate for please uh, mweke kwa family planning I am an advocate for family planning so ukiona maybe unamuongelesha umemongelesha umemwambia mengi bado ha, haelewi na wala hasiki unamweka tu kwa family planning mm -hmm. but unajua sasa hiyo ni decision ya mzazi mimi kama mwanafamasia haezi nikujia na aseme anataka family planning mm -hmm. it's not my place hasa mm -hmm. ni mzazi akuja na yeye mm -hmm. then tumweke katika family planning mm -hmm. na uh, you are an advocate for family planning yes kumekuwa na mapendekezo awali japo sala hilo najua lilikufa mm -hmm. uh, natural death baada ya siasa kweli kweli mm -hmm. kuhusiana na mipira ya kondomu shuleni you too <laughs> Uh, katika shule mixed ama katika shule za kawaida shule mixed za upili Najua hilo ni swala nyeti na like uh, very sensitive. Um sijui wamefika wapi katika hilo swala but uh, what I can uh, say I think it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are to avoid unajua lakini katika hii African society bado tuko na hiyo mentality ya yeah, tunaficha sana hatuongelei sexual matters sana. Mm -hmm. But uh, naona it's high time tuko na hiyo conversation. Mm -hmm tuongelee hayo masuala mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. because uh, these are things that are happening hizi ni vitu zinafanyika mm -hmm. na hatuwezi ficha vichwa vyetu katika mch mchanga mm -hmm. tuseme hizo ah, unasema nini mm -hmm. No we cannot do that. Uh -huh. It's high time to go into your conversation. I know I hadn't prepared you on that. Uh, I'll always <laughs> have that one or two questions for an ambush. Okay. Uh, swali jingine ambalo labda ni ningependa kukuuliza katika mm -hmm. your mentorship programs and so on. Do you believe in till marriage ndio sex ama you believe kwamba uh, hali ya sasa maisha ya sasa it's, it's something ambayo si rahisi sana kuweza ku, ku advocate for um, uh, what i can say ni times have changed ndio kwa maana anasema that's why nilikuwa nasema tukue na hii open conversation Vi, times have changed siku zinapita na our youth our children wanaendelea kuwa exposed to online to tv to simu mm -hmm. unapata mtoto mdogo ukifika nyumbani hivi nisaidia na simu yako anacheza games anaenda online so in si in conversation yenye we need to have mm -hmm. naam mm -hmm japo umekwepa swali langu moja kwa moja but anyway <laughs> mtazamaji she is a doctor she is a, uh, nikisema doctor she is a pharmacist by the way she is a, a business uh, person and uh, at the same time she is a mentor uh, bila shaka masuala matatu ambayo yamefanya basi nikaweza kuona pana haja niweze kuwa naye katika kipindi hiki najua zaidi atakuwa natufaa katika vipindi vyetu vya kila Jumanne masuala ya jinsia wanawake vijana uh, na kadhalika uh, labda tuitimishe tui na uh, swala hili 
unajiona wapi ama ni maazimio gani uko nayo uh, hasa zaidi katika masuala ya mentorship ni nini mm. ambacho unataka kufanya nini ambacho unaweza kusema kwamba you thinking about it let's say 5 or 10 years from today uh, labda tuzungumzie hilo tukimalizia kwanza niko na short term and long term goals huh? na ina depend venye nilisema mimi ni mtu mwenye nimejiweka katika every sphere mm -hmm. so nikisema academic wise nikisema political nikisema humanitarian so katika tuseme academia in a short term nitakana ni kuwe niko na taaluma nzuri katika afya ya wananchi mm -hmm. very soon mm -hmm. alafu long time nilikuwa nime sahi i do a lot of things nilikuwa natafuta dawa ya ya kuna ishida ya mjikuno baada ya kuoga mm -hmm. najua kuna wengi wako that problem in affect mm -hmm. mostly in western mm -hmm. so tulikuwa tunaangalia hiyo kinga na professor wangu mm -hmm. asa that is for long term mm -hmm. academic mm -hmm. nikiangalia katika political <laughs> nezaendea cheo moja mm -hmm. uh, kibima very soon ama baadaye mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you thinking about getting into politics eventually mm -hmm. yes because kitu gani labda to be more specific ama ni something bado iko jikoni bado 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 iko jikoni hiyo bado bado inapika hiyo umetaja bibie women rep i don't know i'm not saying iko ndio naenda but nimetaja tu ah wacha bado tuna bado tunapika tunaona venye tutaangalia but um huwa nasema ukiwa katika unajua wanasema maybe madaktari hawapendi kuingia into political seat but nasema all the laws we make zina huwa zinatengenezwa na nani mm -hmm. si ni wana wale wa yeah. mm -hmm. so ikiwa uko na you can get there and actually make uh, changes about health kama venye umesema even about um, <laughs> about uh, family planning about such con hizo laws zote huwa zinatengenezwa wapi mm -hmm. sheria zote zinatengenezwa na politician. Mm -hmm. So it's also an area that even health personnel wanahitaji kuingia. Mm -hmm. Naam. Mm -hmm. Katika humanitarian na mentorship short term nataka kusikusia kuwa na teenage pregnancy cases. Najua hiyo pia ni kama long term but eventually nataka wa, wasichana wetu waelimike. Na si hauele haupei tu elimu kwa wasichana. Kumbuka ni nani wanawapea hii mimba? vijana mm. so it's uh, necessary to educate both sides mm -hmm. na mm -hmm. uh, anasema siasa ataamua <laughs> vile vile uh, kuingia katika ulingo wa siasa ukiingia katika ulingo wa siasa I'll also be hosting you on monday so utakuwa umeshika monday tuesday wednesday okay <laughs> <laughs> anasema ana the energy and uh, resources i think ah. uh, ama una changa changa bado 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 uh, okay <laughs> Shukrani mtazamaji anaitwa Immaculate Sikuku thank you uh, bibi Sikuku kutenga muda wako kuweza kuwa nasi Asante sana Asante I'm happy to be here. Thank you karibu mm. tena na tena Shukrani Kelvin Kibeti kwa uelekezi wa yake kabisa mtazamaji inawezekana 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 uh, it doesn't matter the kind of family you from it yeah. doesn't matter umelelewa na nani it doesn't matter how many parents wali kulea it doesn't matter if you had both parents or not it doesn't matter if you are an orphan or not haijalishi haijalishi chochote haijalishi jamii yako inaitwa nini uh, na kadhalika bila shaka inawezekana ukaweza kusonga kutoka pale ulipo kama mimi niliweza kama bibi Immaculate aliweza basi wewe vile vile una fursa kuweza kuweza kutoka pale ulipo na kuweza kusonga mbele Asante kutenga muda wako kwa nami. Asante. Uh, Najua umejinyima mengi kutokana na ratiba yako ngumu. Shukrani mtazamaji naitwa Dalmas Sakali. Gumzo liendelee Twitter at @dalmundo, Facebook kukurasa @dalmundo, Instagram Sakali Dalmas na kwa kwa ambao umeungana nasi labda katikati ama kuelekea tamati kwa mazungumzo haya utapata bila shaka mazungumzo haya mazima upande wa YouTube. Kwa hivyo kule YouTube subscribe katika kaunti yangu Dalmas Sakali unaweza ukafuatilia kila kitu moja kwa moja. Na kutakiwa wakati mwema baadaye na jua kwa nasi katika meza ya habari saa 5 West TV Muktasari saa 7 West TV mchana baadaye saa 12 jioni West TV Muktasari saa 2 usiku taarifa za West TV jioni pamoja na vipindi vingi vinginevyo. Na kutakiwa wakati mwema and always remember God is ahead never say die. Kwaheri. Asante wewe.